All right, we're scrambling. It's Thursday. Show's tomorrow. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah. All it takes is one job, one job, and everything is gonna be okay. I'm trying to get as much done as we can. What do you got? I'm just working on this one wire swap. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's that's transmission control if you're wondering. It's uh, similar to uh, NASA Control Center. Although NASA Control Center has a few less wires and a couple less computers. But we're uh, not getting our intake. Our intake is probably not going to be here. So not really worried about getting it going but just gonna put as much together as we can. We got AC vents, ignition, um, shifter, our Bluetooth, uh, radio, AC, cigarette, all that's installed. Nothing's wired. Uh, all the harnesses will be able to plug in as we go. So it's, this stuff doesn't have to come back out. Jared's kind of doing the same thing as this. This is a panel that I made that'll bolt in under the dash so you can pull the wiring harness down if you need to. Here's our Dakota digital gauge uh, system so I'll be able to put the gauges in, plug the gauges in here and then we'll plug our sensors in, cinders in, cinder sensors as we go and be able to hook up some of that stuff under the dash here uh, possibly today. We're going to be putting the cab on here in a few. We've got our throttle. Uh, everything's ready for the steering column to go in. And uh, we're doing it to it, man, as fast as we can. Okay, we got our Dakota Digital here. We're going to uh, get the wiring hooked up to the back of this so we can get it installed in the truck. So it's just the stock style has a little message center in the center of it uh, even has a tack up there in the top which is kind of cool little tiny guy it's pretty sweet though got a new bezel beautiful noise okay i have only two wires plugged into the back of this one is the control for the gauges and one is a little buzzer and uh, I'm just going to plug it in now. If we don't want it, we can unplug it later. But that's all that has to go on this side of it. So I can go ahead and install these. Two things that weren't test fit. One is the trans dipstick and it's gonna hit. And the other was the air dog fuel pump and it's gonna hit. We were lucky enough to, we have luck to change both. We <laughs> were lucky enough to get screwed on both. So I'm gonna have to cut this little corner out of the cab. Won't be noticeable. Both laps go up past that. So I'm actually just cutting mostly just the outside skin not the inner so it won't be too bad all right after much alteration we might have a solution man just loving this loving it loving it loving it we got a lot of stuff that's close but close is fine as long as it's not going to rattle or whatnot which it should but man couldn't be happier with the beauty of it. You have to take all those nuts off. Yeah, 
So I think we did good. Brakes, steering, drivetrain, everything's together, so. And looking good. So we're gonna make it to the show after all. Glenn's towing to the rescue as usual. Oh, and I send the Mercury? No, you guys are gonna haul that one for me too. 